The time is now 5.03 p.m. We're going to call to order the Finance and Purchasing Committee meeting for Monday, October 16th, 2023. Can I have a roll call, please? Alderman Bolton? Present. Alderman Newsom? Present. Alderman Florian? Present. Alderman Hayes? Present. Alderman Guzman? Uh, item C, can I get a, approval of the minutes from September 18th, 2023? So moved. Motion by Alderman Florian, second. I'll second. Second by Alderman Bolton. Are there any questions to the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Can I get a motion to seat Alderman Guzman? So moved. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Item D, is there a public comment? Is there anyone in the audience that wants to speak on anything that's on the agenda for tonight? Being none, we'll move on to new business. Item two. A, determination of proposed aggregate tax levy for tax year 2023 in the amount of $33,980,987 and the total levy of $37,270,387 inclusive of debt service. Pursuant, uh, can I get a... So I... moved. Seconded. Motion by Alderman Florian. Second by Alderman Hayes. Pursuant to the Truth and Taxation Act 35 ILCS 200 slash 18 dash 55, the city must estimate and make a determination of its proposed aggregate tax levy, not less than 20 days before it adopts the tax levy by ordinance. The city council is expected to take Final action to adopt a tax levy for the 2023 tax levy at the November 6, 2023 City Council meeting. I will add that this is the same exact amount as we in dollars that we levied um, last year for the 2022, 2023 <laughs> tax, tax year. Um, are there any questions? I do. Or Alderman Florian, go ahead. Alderman, Alderman Florian. Uh, thank you. Um, so my, I, I'm not in favor of raising taxes. You know, I've always voted against that. But my concern is our fire and police pension debt continues to sit there, <laughs> and and go it, up. It, and go up. Yes. <laughs> and so. We, I know we've talked about this, and you and I, Don, personally have talked about it. We've talked about it up here on the dais, but I'd just like maybe for you to address that a little bit about what the long-term plan is to address. It's $270 million, I believe, at this point. On an annual basis, we contract with MWM Consulting to do an actual evaluation of our police and firefighters' pension funds. Um, they do the analysis, they, and they tell us the level at which we should levy a tax sufficient by statute, and by statute to meet 90% funding by the year 2041. Traditionally, the city has levied the minimum by statute. This year, we're going above the minimum, and we're levying an amount sufficient to avoid any negative funding. In addition to the levy, we put all of the video gaming tax, 50% uh, to the firefighters pension, 50% to the police pension. And it's estimated to bring in about 1.5 million, so another 750, 750,000 to both those pension plans. So we're doing the best we can to, to not only fund it by the level the actuary tells us, but at a level even, even greater than that. 
Um, we can expect the our requirement for levy you know, certainly to go up every year, not down. And we just have to keep following the actuary. Do we have any questions on on the pension? No. Alderman Guzman. So my understanding is the same thing as last year. No tax increase for the city of Waukegan and part of the city for the city of Waukegan. Is that correct? Exactly. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure that was clear. We will not be raising taxes. The city's portion, but that doesn't mean that your tax bill might still go up by the other taxing bodies. Correct. That tax. Yeah. But correct. Based but on your valuation of your home. Yes. Cor correct. Yes. That's uh, but other entities that have the tax body that could raise your taxes. But I'm at the city of Waukegan. I'm worried about the city of Waukegan. So we are not raising taxes for the city of Waukegan. We're using the same dollar amount as last year. Uh, are we? And the same dollar amount as the year before that. And the same I think dollar amount as four year, out of the last I five years. I think three years in a row now, right? It's three years in a row. Yep. And four out of the last five. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there a roll call on this? Or are we... I know we're not doing anything till November 6th. Right. Thank you. I remember that now. You told me that, but I couldn't remember that. Uh, the action that the full city council needs to take tonight is a motion to make a determination of the levy. That's the language that the statute uses. You don't have to pass a resolution or an ordinance. So for this committee, um, it would be appropriate for you to recommend whether to make the determination or not. And I have a motion on the floor by Alderman Florian and Alderman Hayes to recommend um, the same dollar amount as the last three years. <laughs> uh, can I get a roll call, please? Alderman Bolton? Aye. Alderman Guzman? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Motion carried. Item B, resolution waiving competitive bidding per section 2-458 subsection I-1 sole source and approving the purchase of police equipment from Axon Enterprises in the amount not to exceed $148,613.03. Can I get a motion on the floor? So moved. I second. Motion by Alderman Hayes, second by Alderman Bolton. The Waukegan Police Department is seeking the approval for the purchase of equipment from Axon Enterprises for the Police Department co-responder unit. The equipment to be purchased is the same equipment that the Police Department utilizes now for its officers. The Police Department wishes to purchase seven body for body cameras, including hardware, four taser, 10 tasers, including hardware, and three fleet um, three license plate reader camera systems. Uh, this is for a five-year, uh, this is a five-year contract with Exxon to match our current contract totaling $148,613.02, which will be paid for out of funds budgeted for the co-responder program. These funds are reimbursed at 100% by the co-responder grant. Are there any questions? I do. Alderman Guzman. I'm not too fan, fond of the res, uh, waiving uh, competitive bill, bidding, so I, can the ch deputy chief come up here, please? Thank you. Um, is there any way, I, I mean, we've done this a bunch of times for vehicles. We've done this for a lot of stuff. Is there any way next year we can, like, forward think this and uh, instead of waiving, we can actually look into more competitors. I know some of these, uh, some of this equipment is only done by one, uh, one company, but. Yeah, all of, all of this is sole source. None of this is made by anybody else. Okay. Okay. So does the language have to be saying that we're waiving competitive bid bidding or, or 
can it just be a different language? That's why they put in their sole source. That's why we're waving it. Nobody else makes it. Okay, thank you. Just, just to be clear, actually, um, and this is, a, this is an important point Alderman Guzman is, is, is raising. <clears throat> so when something is sole source, we're not actually waiving competitive bidding. That is a defined exception to our competitive bidding requirements. So um, I would have to pull up what we did on the resolution, but usually for sole source, it is just defined as an exception. It doesn't, it's, it's not actually, we don't have to waive it because you cannot get it from anyone else. Exactly, so. and that's why I want the language changed. Any more questions? Thank you. Roll call, please. Alderman Bolton. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Alderman Guzman. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Alderman Hayes. Aye. Motion carried. Aye. Resolution approving acceptance of a grant from the Bureau of Justice Assistance, uh, Patrick Lay Bulletproof Vest Partnership. Um, city staff, uh, the Walking and Police Department is seeking the approval to accept a 2023 Bureau of Justice Assistance, BJA, Patrick Lay Bulletproof Vest Partnership Grant Award. The grant provides 50% reimbursement for officers issued ballistic vest purchased between October 1st, 2023 to August 31st, 2025 up to $44,625. Initial purchasing will be made from the asset forfeiture fund with the 50% reimbursement being allocated back to the asset forfeiture fund upon receipt from the um, BJA. Uh, can I get a motion on the floor? I so moved. moved. Motion by Alderman Bolton, second by Alderman Florian. Are there any questions? Can you get a roll call, please? Alderman Bolton? Aye. Alderman Guzman? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Motion carried. Item D, resolution authorizing the procurement of commodities, maintenance, and professional services from Harris Corporation for the Enterprise Resource Program in the amount of 212 thousand dollars uh, the city of Waukegan has partnered with Harris Corporation for our enterprise resource planning ERP since the mid 1990s the city uses Harris Kenyatta products including customer service CIS for water usage and billing cashiering and customer management as well as financial management for general ledger accounting, budget, purchasing, accounts payable, time entry, and personnel. The city is currently on version 9.0 in Kenyatta after completing a comprehensive upgrade in 2021 and needs to upgrade to version 9.2 to meet cybersecurity requirements. Through our relationship with Harris, the city also uses Kenyatta management systems for database administration and security, as well as con Cognos for report and utility bill generation. Through this ERP system, the city manages over 21,000 water accounts, including residential, commercial, industrial, and wholesale customers, handles payroll for 454 full-time and seasonal employees, covered by nine different collective bargaining agreements, and processes approximately 300,000 vendor invoices annually. The system interfaces successfully with third-party solutions, including our water bill lockbox provider, water bill printer, timekeeping system, time clock plus, used by water, the water plant, uh, public works, fire department, emergency dispatch, and city hall, as well as visual computer systems, uh, solutions used by the police department. Um, the attached four-year renewal is for the upgrade to the cybersecurity compliant version, support and maintenance. Also recommended is in addition to CIS, MS, FMS, and CMS maintenance and licensing rates included in the agreement. 
an allowance of 212,000 for as needed work orders for integration of other city systems be included as well. Can I get a motion? So moved. I second. Motion by Alderman Florian, second by Alderman Bolton. And in there it has the different amounts for each year, fiscal year to fiscal year 2027. Are there any questions to this motion? Roll call, please. Alderman Bolton. Aye. Alderman Guzman. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Alderman Hayes. Aye. Motion carried. Aye. Item three, reports and communications. Um, did anyone want Don to go briefly over these? I know we have our little sheet on the side and we have all our reports as well. Does anyone have any questions regarding the reports? Um, I, don't, I don't really have any questions, but I would like to point out that, again, we're consistently revenue higher than expenses, which is awesome. Um, I commend every department in the city that's paying attention to what they're spending and what's going on. and. Um, we continue to be able to meet our our budgets and and actually exceed exceed expectations. So thank you to all of you who work so hard to make that happen. Any other questions? Can I get a motion to adjourn? I so move. Motion by Alderman Bolton. Second by. Second. Alderman Hayes. Alderman Hayes to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. We're adjourned at 5.20 p.m. Exactly what